thrill of God Almighty as they surrender their lives unto you. Lord Jesus, may you answer their prayer. I stand in the God. I stand also in their situation, calling upon your name. Let their hearts be receptive to you. Let their souls be receptive to you. Whatever infirmities have affected them, whatever the devil has done in their lives, this is the day of surrendering, Lord, perfectly to you. That you forgive every sin, Lord God. You forgive every wrong that has happened in your glory. For you are not like man who look at the negative part. You don't care how someone is looking, looking at, but you, you fix the heart. You fix problems and difficulties. This life that has surrendered to you, may you sustain it, Lord. May you heal, Lord. May you bless. May you deliver. May you serve, Lord, for great is on earth. That as we always surrender to you, receive us, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. surrender this morning we give everything to you we pray lord god that you guide us in everything in the service of today we pray that all your praises moves in this day in the name of jesus christ we surrender our hearts we surrender our families we surrender lord god almighty the fellowship the union that i have with you the unity we surrender king of glory that this communion it shall always result in glorifying you in spirit in truth and in faith in the name of Jesus, give us the much-needed understanding, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Can you please have the word? In the name of Jesus Christ, there is love. We recognize the presence of the Holy Spirit. We recognize the presence of Jesus this morning. So we pray together, we worship together with this song. There is love.
Jesus Christ. There is no other nation that is more than mighty in his side. Hours with power, with glory, the hours of your daughter, your son. For us, everywhere, Lord, King of glory, where are your children and your savings are. Listening, they are listening to Jesus the name of salvation, the voice of power, the voice of salvation. God has given this name the voice of deliverance, salvation, power of healing. Yes, I just encourage you that you enter into his praises a little bit. I am the word of the Spirit of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. When you read down, thank you, Jesus, for glory. Thank you, Jesus, for glory. Thank you, Jesus, for glory. Thank you, Jesus, and the, the word, word of fight. God, the word of fight, Jesus. And the word of we God, see Adam, other God, no more. He talks about Jesus Christ, we see other Savior, not anywhere, but you. Verse know. says he was with God in, in the, the beginning, fighting your Lord in the morning. Through him all things were made. 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 Without After him all things was made that has been made. In him was, was life, and the life was the light taken of all man to cover Lord and. We praise the name of Jesus that we do, Lord, we made him known. For it has given us the power of salvation once again. That we are sure that we are saved once again. And the Lord is going to fight your praises once again. For the salvation that has given us tomorrow. Through the name of Jesus. You are the answer, Lord. Many of the things that we fight with and that we do not find many ways to our mouth. But your Lord gives us celebrations for true Lord. that brings man to total surrender to the life. Surrendering in the manner of glorifying the King of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Jesus is identified as the Word. And this Word demonstrated its power by the Spirit. Be the famous man in our houses. It was spoken by the famous man in our lives. And it manifested in the Be the famous man in our churches and now John chapter one was the same. The word became flesh. And man is dwelling among us. Yes, Lord. We have seen his glory. The glory of the one and only Son. Who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. We worship you, Jesus. Your great love, we praise and praise the power. We glorify you, Father. The power of you, oh, Jesus, intervene in every situation, in places that have been destroyed too much by the power by sickness and diseases, by flowers, by the, the power of unity. May you be the famous Jesus that brings this house for you, the Prince of Peace. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Amen. In the name of Jesus, Father. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. As we stand, Lord God, we invoke the name of Jesus in everything that we do. Oh, Father, thank you for In our friends' lives, in our family's lives, especially those who does not know you, who have not received your salvation, Jesus. We have demanded to pray. To pray for them to come to repentance, Lord Jesus. And we call upon your name, Jesus. The name that works in every side. The name that works in every color. In every language. In every town. The name that works beyond borders. The name that works beyond the seas. It's above the mountains. It's above the sea and the unseen circumstances. We worship the name of Jesus this morning. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. For your Hallelujah. We give glory to God. Praise the Lord. Praise As the Lord. Into your word, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise we see your mighty liberation that you have put on the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. 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 Hallelujah. And it was not just the name. Thank you. Praise the Lord. This morning. In this day, we are glorifying the name of Jesus. Make the name of Jesus famous, and you will never go wrong, for everything that is against you shall not prevail by making the name of Jesus great, by making the name of Jesus awesome, by making the name of Jesus the face and the last, making the name of Jesus 
as the one that makes you to walk, to sleep, to wake up, and to do your daily activities. The name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Somebody. I will speak in advance and say, um, for the people of the prayers of prayer of the month, prayer of the year, and the prayer about the blood of Jesus, uh, I encourage you that you are going to do it uh, at your own time because you just want to focus much more in in the teachings that you have. So we are going to uh, pray together. We are going to enter into our time of intercession uh, later. But I pray that you encourage someone, you invite someone that we are on. Our live broadcast is on. We are standing together. We will find the name of the Lord and Namibia has chosen to worship the King of Glory. And I believe in different parts of the world, the name of the Lord is being glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. And we pray that in places where there is too much calamities, calamities of sicknesses and diseases of famine and anger, like in Yemen, we see too much uh, devastations that have gone on because of the evil hand of man. We pray that the Lord shall find the way as we stand in the gap of our brothers and sisters to be liberated from the evil hand of man. We pray for them to be liberated again from sicknesses and diseases. We, we just stand in the name of Jesus and we know the Lord does not fail us of peace. We pray for the places that have been flooded by, by rains we have seen in East Africa. They are having already the, the, the calamity of uh, the, the, the grasshoppers and now we have seen serious uh, uh, rain that has devastated many houses. We pray for East Africa also today in the name of Jesus Christ. And we pray for um, any other country that have lost so many people because of coronavirus like in, in, in America or in the Americas, the entire Americas. And then we pray for uh, Africa, places where the sicknesses has ravaged many places in Asia, all the parts of the world we have seen, including in the Irons, we have seen the Jamaicans and, and all those places that have been devastated by uh, the same situation of sickness and disease of coronavirus. And again, we stand and pray, uh, thank God for Madagascar who have, uh, in Africa introduced the medicine for coronavirus. We have called the name of the Lord for that and we say, may the name of the Lord be glorified and let the medicine work effectively for Africa must have its own African solutions. Not every time when we are in problems, we run outside Africa. We need to have our own African solutions and this must grow in us so that we will be uh, free from all the uh, begging and uh, 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 mentality of depending only outside Africa. We pray that the Lord is seeing through this and let's keep on praying for all these situations that have been uh, uh, disturbing in Africa. We pray that the Lord shall bring peace and uh, in all this let the name of the Lord be glorified. Praise the Lord. We have seen different kind of speculations concerning 5G. We have seen different kind of speculations concerning the chip that must be put in the body, the microchip. But we pray that the name of the Lord is the one that directs us and everything is in the hands of the Lord. So wherever he directs us and gives us a word, we follow the word and we do the right thing. And the devil shall not see anything from us because we are covered by the Holy Spirit. And I want everyone to know that this is the time of the Holy Spirit. This is not the time of the devil. So you must not be afraid that what is now God doing about this. This is the time of the Holy Spirit. This is not the rapture. This is not the time that someone must be afraid and say, Oh, now the, the, the things have gotten out of hand. No matter what they will do, no matter what they will bring, it's just the, the evil works of the devil that you are saying. The giant comes and fear grips people's hearts. This is the time of the Holy Spirit. This is the dispensation of the Holy Spirit. There was the dispensation of the Father in the Old Testament. During the time of Moses, uh, Jesus Christ came. It was the time of dispensation of Jesus Christ. Now, this is the time of the Holy Spirit, dispensation of the Holy Spirit. You can only be afraid when you know that the Holy Spirit is not around. Then you are going to be afraid. And the Lord said, he is the comforter. Jesus Christ said, I'm giving you the spirit of truth. Who is the comforter? What does that mean? There will be terrible situations and terrifying situations, circumstances that shall be very difficult to understand. But hold on your faith and put it in the word of God and let the Holy Spirit direct your path. And then you gain control of every situation. So no matter what they will try to do, no matter what the devil is trying to do, he knows he's just trying to put people uh, in fear, in terrible fear. But I tell you the truth, this is the time of the Holy Spirit. There is no way the devil shall have and possess everything that we own as children of God when the Holy Spirit is here. Don't be afraid. 
for Jesus Christ says the kingdom of God has come. Don't wait for Jesus coming one day. You say Jesus must come quick. Jesus is already here. When you have Jesus is in your heart, I, I tell you, children of God, don't be afraid and don't be moved by the works uh, of the devil. The Lord is with us. Just have courage, join the word and let the Lord give us understanding. I love it when I understand. When the devil is trying to convince me, I go into the word and I see the word and the Lord is saying, take heart, take heart, pray, watch and pray. So the Lord is with us. Don't be cheated. Don't be afraid and say now the devil has entered. And what I, no, you, you, the problem that they have is not knowing how to calculate the time that we are in. This is the time of the Holy Spirit. And we are in the season, yes, we are in the season where some of the people, they become so much obstinate. They will be so much stubborn. But I tell you, this is the season that souls shall be worn in a massive way. Many churches that are worshiping the Lord in truth and the Spirit, you see, there shall be an added number of people in all our churches. I tell you the truth, and I speak as a prophet of God. You are going to see that in, 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 in just this time, especially when God has put down the sickness of coronavirus. We shall see, we shall see the increase of the number. God shall send many of His children to so many churches, and the church shall be upheld and be lifted up so much that there is no one who's going to give an excuse. Because as it stands now. You see another scripture says the word must be preached to everyone that's when the end will come the word of god is not everywhere there are places in china who have never heard about jesus christ and they don't know who is he there are many places in ireland there are many places in different areas who have never heard the truth about jesus christ and anyone will just be judged when they have heard the truth about jesus and then they deny the truth so we are still on don't be afraid of 5g let it come out and let our internet be faster praise the lord don't be afraid don't be afraid of anything Whatever they do, the Holy Spirit is here. Don't be afraid. We are standing in glorifying the name of the Lord every day. Just walk in the word and know how to calculate the time and know how to tell which time are we living in. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, somebody. I bless you in the name of Jesus. I bless your family. I bless your home. I said that the presence, let the presence, may the presence and let the presence of the Holy Spirit just be where you are in the name of the Lord and let the name of the Lord be glorified. So I love reggae gospel and I sing reggae gospel. So we are going to sing the the, the reggae gospel songs. Uh, there are two. There is nobody like Jesus and there is uh, 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 Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Uh, about the Holy Spirit, we are going to sing about the Holy Spirit, and then we sing about Jesus, their uh, reggae tune. So I want you to join me as we celebrate, and from this, uh, from uh, celebrating and, and, and having the praise uh, of these two songs, we will come and enter into our intercession from intercession and we go to the word of god and we pray until you are liberated and i prophesy just from the beginning that every john that has been in your life is falling now in the name of jesus christ believe and receive in jesus name praise the lord can you give us please the song <laughs> Dance with me. If you can skunk where you are, I want you to be. Skunk. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Oh, Re- 
Again, it's about the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. 
come with me in Christ. Like Jesus Christ. Yes. Your father can leave you, leave you. Your mother can leave you, leave you. Your brother can leave you, leave you. Your sister can leave you, leave you. Your friends can leave you, leave you. Everybody can leave you, leave you. But Jesus will never leave you. Thank you for joining in once again for those that have already tuned in. I ask you that you uh, share the link or make a watch party. Let someone know every soul that is saved, it is so variable before the Lord. Every soul, one soul, one soul was saved and it is Joseph and Christ. So one soul was saved, it is also you and me. You don't know who the Lord is saving right now. And who's going to say who's going to be saved through you so share the link and make a watch party and let the name of the lord be praised and obviously keep the fire burning because we are standing in to praise the name of the lord i begin by prophesying knowing that i know there are so many of you hundred of you that the lord is giving a victory in this month in the name of jesus against every giant in jesus name whatever the lord has stolen from you we are going to speak about it and faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of the lord and as you hear the word of the lord and accept it in the name of jesus christ the giant that you see you shall see them no more moses told the children of israel the same words that the, the egyptians you see shall you shall see them no more you shall see the deliverance of the lord and it came by the word. I want you to see this. It came by the word when Moses spoke to him. He did not profess, he did not, I mean, he did not speak in a way that he began by praying for every one of them and touching them and rebuking the devil and taking the devil out of them, all of them by one, 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 one. There are too many. He just for them to believe the words that he said that the Egyptians you see today, you shall see them no more. And it worked and it happened. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I prophesy in the same manner in your life, the John that you have heard, you shall see that John no more. You shall celebrate and live 
your life in a very good way that you will even forget but it shall be a history it shall be a testimony that you shall testify to others how the lord won your battle how he fought your battle and he gave you victory in your hands and the key of freedom in your hands in the name of jesus christ i know there are many of us who are in despair who are in trouble who are sick who are sick right now we are not feeling well, we have no food to eat, we have no clothes to wear, we have no one visiting you, we have no one comforting you. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that by hearing these words, they sink in your spirit of faith in the Lord and the deliverance of the Lord is right here. The devil that you have uh, ravaged and disturbed and destroyed your life, the past years, you shall see him no more. Believe and receive. Believing is receiving in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I speak once again uh, that please uh, have your water. Every time we do our live broadcast, we use our water so that whatever we have, we have said, the Lord saturates the water. I want you to know something. I will come, uh, I'm preparing a sermon that I want to talk to you about that you need to share. I want to show you the movement of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit like tomorrow. Imagine when there was nothing, he was hovering, he was moving on top of the water. It's a moving of the spirit, it's an action of the spirit. So I want you to believe. When you believe, you take action. So as we speak, the Holy Spirit moves upon your water and brings healing in your body. I don't care what type of sickness it is. Oh, I know, I know the name above all names, the name of Jesus Christ. I know the spirit above all spirits, the Holy Spirit that was there before anything came, before any type of sickness, any type of devil was shown up. The Holy Spirit was moving on top of the water and it brought healing. I speak in the name of Jesus Christ that believe and let you be healed. In Jesus' mighty name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We are going to begin by praying for our families. I will pray for our families that the Lord gives us comfort in our families. The Lord be the solution for our families. The devil that has brought a lot of confusions in our families be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we stand in the name of Jesus Christ in this day and commit our families in your hands. Our parents, our guardians, all the elders, our grandparents, and all of us, the children and the grandchildren and the grand-grandchildren, we commit all of them in your hands in the name of Jesus. I pray for my immediate family, Lord God, my wife and my kids. I pray, Lord God, for my biological family. I commit all of them in your hands in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Now, this is the time, Lord, that we come against the powers of darkness, against all odds that the devils tried to put, confusing our families, confusing our sisters, our brothers, our parents. We pray in the name of Jesus, be broken, you powers of darkness that has been holding somewhere. Be broken in the name of Jesus Christ and be defeated in the name of Jesus. Whatever way that you have come, we have come with ancestral demonic spirits. We rebuke them, we uproot them in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. I want you to stand as an intercessor, pray. You are intercessor for your family. You are an intercessor for your family. Pray. Pray for your family. Do not look at your brother or your sister or your mother or your father or your aunt that they are wicked. I want you to pray for those people who are, who are wicked. The Lord says we need to stand for one another. We need to show love for one another. Pray for them. Pray for them. Pray for them. That if the love that we have for one another can be proved that yes truly we are then the Lord shall receive us. Come on pray. Father in the name of Jesus we pray. We commit them in your hands, no matter how wicked they are, no matter how worse they are, no matter how witches they are, no matter how drunk as they are, no matter how fornicators and how adulterers they are, no matter how thieves they are, no matter how crooked they are, no matter how insolent they are, insolent they are. Father, we commit them in your hands in the name of Jesus. Those who practice magic, who practice satanism, oh God, we surrender them in your hands in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, oh King of Glory. You are a, 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 you are a, you are a Savior who was born in a family, and you are brothers you had sisters and you saw how it was hard that some they oppose and some they do not want to follow the way but eventually because you are the truth you show them the Lord and you show them the truth and they came to oh so following the steps that the heavenly father had put on you Jesus Christ may you save our families may you save our families in the name of Jesus as we come against this devil of destruction we come against this devil of confusion Lord we cry out unto you 
We cry unto you and we say, save them, Lord. Save them, King of glory. Save them, Messiah of God. Save them, Prince of Peace. Save them, and under the Lord of Israel. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. We uproot any devil that entered somewhere, somehow. We rebuke him in the name of Jesus. That save our families. Save our parents. Save our families. Save our brothers and sisters. In the name of Jesus Christ. Even extended families. Lord, we pray for them. We pray for them. We pray for the cousins. We pray for the aunties. We pray for all of them. Lord God Almighty, may you save them, Lord God. May you deliver them. We pray for the uncles, King of glory. Oh, Jehovah Shammah, every devil of deception against their life. We rebuke him. We uproot him in the name of Jesus Christ. May salvation come to all our children. To all the youths that are in our families, in the name of Jesus Christ, learn, let them learn, King of Glory. Let them learn how to hear your voice. Let them learn how to commit themselves in you. Let them know that you are the truth and the life, and you are A and the Z. There is no other word. Every word is a deceptive word that the devil has tried to put in their lives and with crowd unto you, King of Glory. May you forgive our families for the sins that you have done, for the many sins, for rejecting you, speaking against you, fighting one another. Oh God, we ask for forgiveness in our families. I ask for forgiveness in my own family. I ask for forgiveness in all my two families. I ask for forgiveness in my great family of Christ. The Christ Tabernacle Center family. The Agape family of Christ. We ask you, King of Glory, that you forgive us of every wrong and every wrong way that you have taken. Of not yelling you, not following you, not going according to your way, Father. This is the great love family that you have given me, King of Glory. That I usher into your presence, Lord, Every service that you have given us, oh bless them and Lord God, may there be forgiveness of sins in every family that we have in the agape family of Christ. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, we pray. Hallelujah, somebody, hallelujah. I want someone to follow carefully, to follow wisely and keep the fire burning in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. We are going to pray for all the servants of God. We are going to pray for all the servants of God. It is unfortunate that people now, they think when you become a servant of God, they think as if you are God. You cannot make a mistake. You cannot make a mistake in your talking. You cannot make a mistake in life. And then now, because of the media, they will crucify you using the media. And those that does that, they are not Muslims. They are not Hindus. They are the same believers who stands today and said tomorrow, can you pray for me, man of God. So we have to pray that that demonic force must stop. Paul said, pray for us so that we may preach the word of God. Pray for us so that we may maintain standing in the word of the Lord. It is not easy for me to stand. I thank all of you who prays for me. I thank my family. I thank all the people that stands and mention my name. May the Lord bless you. The Lord said, if you receive the prophet, you receive the prophet's reward. If you receive the man of God, you receive the man of God's reward. I pray pray in the name of Jesus Christ that I am in both of those ways and the Lord may watch you and may stand with you and may he be with you as you pray for me. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you may not be stagnant in any way. The Lord may answer you, not delay me, not fail in every way because you are praying for me who is reaching out to many souls around the world right now. May the Lord send his angels and help you. May he send the destiny helpers also in your life. It shall never be easy for me to stand. This is not man made Thing. This is not a company of a person, but this is the work of God that is beyond man, which the devil wants to bring down always. And you can see how children of God and mean servants of God are attacked, especially those who have founded ministries. Why? Why? Because they are saving many souls, and the devil wants to distract many souls not to be saved. That's why we are attacked always. We are always in situation what by the devil is assassinating our characters here and there. So I want you to pray for all the servants of God wherever they are, everywhere. You don't choose, just pray. Don't say I don't like this one, or I like the other one. I said that prayer. You don't know tomorrow, maybe your children shall be saved by the same servants, the same servant of God that you do not like, or your grandchildren. And you see, the servant of God who is right there standing with a man or woman of God, they are saving souls. So I want us to pray for the servants of God. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray for all the servants of God, Lord God, beginning with myself, King of glory, that may you guide our steps, that we may not take our own step. 
The devil is against us always. The devil is fighting us always. Character assassination is number one. That your children may not believe in what we do. And we don't come and preach the, the Bible of Joseph. We preach the Bible of Jesus Christ. And the devil is against the name of Jesus Christ. Because we carry this cross. And make the people to know that the answer is on the cross. Where Jesus Christ died. And when you see the cross, you see Jesus. Oh, Father, the devil doesn't like that. The devil doesn't like that. When we bring the good news to your people and say they receive salvation in the name of Jesus. The devil doesn't like it when we say you shall never die but you shall live in the name of Jesus when you believe. The devil doesn't like it when we say your sickness shall be healed by the name of Jesus. So he tries to attack us in every way, King of glory, that your children may not have faith in the servants that you have raised up, that you have built up. We come against it all. We come against all the forces of darkness. I commit my pastors that I'm having, Lord, in your church. Christ Abanago, it is your church that you have lifted up. May the servants of God that are standing in there stand with you in Jesus' might. Name the Son of the Living God. Oh God Almighty, oh remember them when they are working in their plans, in their family. Remember them, God, King of Glory. Oh, the servants of God, I pray for my father. I pray for Pastor Benny and the family. It's my father that you have raised me up with, Lord, King of Glory. I pray in the name of Jesus that you stand with him, Lord, in whatever he does and whatever he's doing with the entire family with their plans in the name of Jesus. So the servants of God that we are standing with in Rwanda, in Namibia, in Africa, and outside Africa, we pray, King of Glory, we pray for all my friends uh, that are standing in, those that are in Angola, in, this, in the United States, in all the countries, I will not manage to mention all of them. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that they are your servants that you have lifted up. Bless them, King of Glory, and all the would-be servants that you have called in this time that are standing in truth, King of Glory, may you stand with them. In every area we are talking about your servants, whatever title they are, King of Glory. The devil is against them because they are soul savers. They are soul savers, King of Glory. And we shall not be afraid. We come against you, evil giant that has come to destroy the souls of your sons and daughters. He shall never broke us, no matter what he does, no matter what type of shame he wants to bring in our lives. We stand and confess the name of Jesus and we humble ourselves before the King of Glory that he may use us in the name of Jesus Christ. Before we came, Lord, there were those, there were those, and there were those. And we keep studying on about them, King of Glory, and our children, 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 they will start about us that we never gave up no matter what happened in the name of Jesus Christ. We know him, we know him. You said it, oh God, that as we follow you, it shall also. Uh, we, as we follow you, he shall also follow us to disturb us, this devil. We don't care as long as the Lord is by our side. We don't care who is against us because we know we are standing as Jesus in our families. We are standing as the Jesus in our communities and in our countries. And the name of the Lord Jesus prevail upon all that we do. And the name of the devil be ashamed and be put in the fire and let all enemies cut up from the work that we are doing, Lord. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, children of God. We are still praying. We are still standing in power and in glory. We are still standing in power and glory. May all the servants of the Lord be blessed in Jesus Christ's name. May all the would be servants of God in our church and those that are standing in every area, in every area that they will stand, and those that are standing already doing something, they are servants of God, men and women of God in our church and all the churches. May the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Even you as the, the desire to work for the Lord, I pray that the Lord shall open the door. Don't be discouraged by tribe, by language by color, by border, by ethnic, whatever it is, the Lord is with you and he shall use you too in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray that these words shall come to pass because he has called you to be saved and you shall be in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. So we are going to pray uh, against all sickness and diseases right now. We pray against coronavirus. We pray against all sickness and diseases. Prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, you send your word to heal us. You send your word to deliver us. You send your word to liberate us. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are liberated by the name of Jesus. We are saved by the name of Jesus Christ. We are amplified by the name of Jesus Christ. We live this life by the name of Jesus Christ. We move from one place to another by the name of Jesus Christ. We stand and and lift up our hands by the name of Jesus Christ. And the devil that is against this, he brings sickness and disease, we rebuke it. He brings whatever kind of confusion, we rebuke it, we destroy it. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Hey, you coronavirus, 
because you are just a virus. You are not God. You are just a virus. You are just a devil. We are brutal. We destroy you. You HIV, you are just a sickness. We destroy you. We are proof to you, TB, you cancer, you arthritis. We, we rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You amorites, we break you. We destroy you in the name of Jesus Christ. You chest pain, you leg pain. We break you and destroy you in the name of Jesus. You are a negative thing already that cannot be allowed to be in our bodies. We pray that may the white cells be more powerful in our bodies, that it clears out and destroys all. Oh, the sickness sun is in in the name of Jesus the son of the living God if you are yelling me and I know you are yelling me and you are not feeling well be healed in the name of Jesus Christ be healed in the name of Jesus. Be delivered from the shackles of the devil. Be delivered from the powers of darkness. The Lord did this day ascend these words that be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. May the blood of Jesus saturate your blood. May the blood of Jesus amplify your lungs. May they work well. May he give you new lungs, new liver in the name of Jesus. May that heart problem be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. May that brain problem be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, be healed. Be healed. May that intestine, may that womb, may that ovary be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Every hardness in breathing, every headache and migraine, headache, every 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 neck that has a problem be healed by the name of Jesus. I pronounce healing for your child, for you. I pronounce healing for you, daughter of God, you son of God. I pray in the name of Jesus. Be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed. The Lord comes in your house and in your body and heals you now. In the name of Jesus. I pray that to be healed. I can see someone even feeling the heat that is going down from your chest, going down to your womb, to your intestine. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed from those leg problems. Be healed from the waist pain problems. In the name of Jesus, we come against any sickness of disease, any sickness, disease, whether it is an airborne blood disease, whatever it has been identified, we don't care as long as it is a sickness, it is a disease. Be healed in Jesus' name. I pray for you that you shall give birth to a baby boy, you shall give birth to a baby baby girl, you shall give birth to, to twins in Jesus' name. And may that sickness that is on your womb, may that sickness that has disturbed, that has disturbed and, and that you have been confirmed that, that your, your womb be destroyed, your, your ovaries are destroyed. I pray that you be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. I see someone crying out with the cancer, cancer of the breast. Be healed, cancer of the breast. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Someone having throat cancer, throat cancer, cervical cancer. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Heal. The Lord sent his word this morning and say you are healed. And say you are healed. And say you are healed in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. You are healed in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. I pray that the tongue cancer, the tongue cancer that your mother has be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Every high blood pressure, sugar diabetes, be healed in the name of Jesus. I command that sugar diabetes to disappear. I command it in Jesus' name. And I pray for medication. I pray for your water. As you take it, you see the healing of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Your day of healing is today and is now. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed of the Son of Saints. Be healed of TB. Be healed of bronchitis. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed. I command that demon to leave you. That demon in your head. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. I command the devil to leave that child. Those confusion in that woman's life. I pray. I pray that the Lord touches your testicles and heal you. I pray that the pains that comes in such a world, the Lord heal you. The Lord set you free. The Lord deliver you. In the mighty name of Jesus. This is the day for your healing. In the name of Jesus. That skin disease. I command it by the blood of Jesus. Whether it is rashes or some growth in your body. In any world. And 
you are fearing of operation, be healed in the name of Jesus from the skin disease. In the name of Jesus, I pray that as you use your water, I connect it with you. Be healed. Be healed of impotence. Be healed. Be healed in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless your water. The Lord set you free. In Jesus' name, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The sound of healing is upon you. Your teeth, your teeth. Your teeth. I'm mentioning all these things. This is the, the way the Lord is showing me. When he shows me something and then I mention it. Your teeth. I pray that the Lord heals those teeth. The gum. I pray that your daughter be healed. Your son be healed. You be healed of those problems of, of the gums. The water that you have prayed for that is anointed. Is bringing healing. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are healed. Can someone say praise the Lord? I'm healed. And my healing is permanent. Praise the Lord. My son, my daughter is healed. And it is permanent in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. If your son is not there, if your daughter is not there, when the program is done, I want you to repeat it and let your child be there as we pray together. When I'm praying and the volume is high, just put your hands on your child. Put your hands on your daughter. Put your hands on yourself. And you are healed in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Healed. Be healed in Jesus' name. It is permanent. Even when you are thinking of someone who is sick in your family. I speak healing. When you think of it, it is acceptable because I've said it as a servant of God who is not standing on anybody's word, not on the king's word, but on Jesus Christ, the king above all kings. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Someone is who is in your mind, who is in your mind right now. My mother is on my mind. I speak healing and I pray in the name of Jesus. My sister-in-law is in my mind. I speak the healing and the Lord sends the healing now. In the name of Jesus. 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 You are healed. You are healed. Say it is permanent I'm healed. In Jesus name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I promise that that skin disease just use the water. Just use the water in the name of Jesus. Or just use the oil. And you are healed in Jesus name. Send the link to someone who is sick now. Let them hear about it, that they are healed. And God meant them now that they are healed. God meant them to be healed today. In the name of Jesus, and the healing is permanent. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, somebody. We are going to pray for another request. And this request goes to the people who have lost employment, who have no food, no shelter, no nothing, and they are in debt. Because this is the time that the devil wants to put a lot of debts in many people's lives. So we just want to pray together that the Lord set them free and give them a solution. And especially we thank God for Namibia. The devil, the devil's hand has been limited so much and let it be limited like that. Let it not go anywhere. We refuse the growth of any sickness and disease. In the name of Jesus, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray, Father. We pray, King of glory. We pray, men of God. That you continue standing in for Namibia and the entire world. We pray that the sickness will not grow in this land. It shall not grow in any land. We pray against it already in the name of Jesus. That this demon that has brought a lot of unemployment, a lot of business failure, it shall not succeed. We pray that there shall be restoration of everything that has been lost. We pray that there shall be recovery from debts. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are some countries where churches are, are allowed to get credit from the bank and build the houses of God. And the church is standing on debts. We have seen, like some of us who are renting, we have debts to pay. Father, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, you are restructuring everything and restoring everything. It is good to believe in you when we are in a crisis. That is when the work and the word of the Lord is proven right and perfect. We believe you, Lord. We trust in you, Jesus. Work your work, Father. That we have no mighty to make things work on our own. 
We are God of you and remain in you and we shall remain in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Restoration upon our lives and upon your life. In finances. In the name of Jesus. In money. In the name of Jesus. Money has helped the advancement of the gospel. Lord, let your mighty name be glorified. That there is financial restoration. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I prophesy that God will make his own way. If Jesus Christ one day sent Peter to go and find money in the mouth of the fish. If there is no man to help you financially, I speak a miraculous source of finance. I'm talking about the name of Jesus. Jesus who told Peter, go to the river, put, put the line, the first fish you get, don't kill it, open the mouth, it has money to pay your bills and my bills. I pray in the name of Jesus. I speak standing on his word that he told Peter. May the financial sources be open for you in the name of Jesus. Do not, do not disturb yourself. Do not have a, a, a limited thinking. Think on the level that I'm telling you. Many times people that don't receive from God is because they are taking it on their own level. No, don't put it on your own level. Put it on the level of Jesus. I'm not even putting it on my level. I'm saying I stand on the word of the Lord Jesus Christ who showed us that Money does not only come from the bank. Money does not only come from people. Money can come from any source that the Lord gives you. Yes! Whether it's from the fish or from the ground, whether from the mountain or from the tree, in the name of Jesus it shall come forth. Believe at the level that I'm speaking to. Believe, believe two billion, believe two million, believe hundred thousand, believe in the name of Jesus that the Lord works it out for you. Let him continue speaking. You shall hear him telling you. This time, woke up at 05. Go in that corner. You find a place. Open it. There is money for you. Believe in the name of Jesus. Venture into this business. Even when there is a corruption of business, you shall make profit. Believe in the name of Jesus and make that profit. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray that you open your ears to the Lord and the Lord shall bless you more and you shall walk in finance making in Jesus name. And please keep on supporting the church, keep on supporting Christ Tabernacle Center Church. We have seen the lowest level in the payment of anything and I know it's not only us, many churches are going through that but please I pray that the Lord touches your heart, support the work of God praise the Lord. We don't want the house of God anywhere in the world to be dead beginning with our own church here in the name of Jesus Christ. So please, if you need a bank account, you can send me your message on 081-620-7383. If you are outside Namibia, you can put plus 264-81 plus 264-81-620-7383 for our bills to be paid. Praise the Lord, somebody. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. I'm so excited that we are going to sing Hallelujah, Hosanna, Hallelujah, and the name of the Lord is glorified because He's just right there in your room. Open your eyes and see. Praise the Lord. Give us a song, please. Hallelujah, Hosanna. worship with these beautiful nice sounds of the glory of God before we go to the world. This is the songs for Christ Tabernacle Center worldwide. Yes.
praising him, Lord. tuning in. Thank you, children of God, that we stand together once again to do what we can do best in the house of the Lord. The same presence that is in heaven is the same presence that he has given us on earth. It's the same presence that is in your house. Believe and take it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes, Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, today we are looking at the giant once again. I have a lot of things about the giant, but anyway, today we are looking at the giant. I pray that we shall move together as we move together. Yes, you keep the fire burning as we move together. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you through the voice of the Lord. 
that the giant has to be punished and judged today in the name of Jesus Christ. So I believe you are going to receive it well. And you are taking it higher. Praise the Lord. I will begin by saying, this is your day for a miracle. This is your day for salvation, for healing and deliverance and breakthrough and blessings of the Lord. Because when the Lord brings the strength and the ability and his power to deal with the uh, to deal with the, the the giant meaning he's opening many doors not only for you but for your families also whoever fights the giant destroys all the work of the devil praise the lord whoever wins the battle with the giant makes the room for other people. When you overcome the giant of poverty like Joseph in Egypt, look at how many people are saved. Praise the Lord. Look at how many people are saved. We're going to look at David today. And you look at how many people are saved. Look at Jesus Christ when he came and defeated the giant and he followed the giant and defeated him even in hell. Billions of people are saved. I'll begin by saying, don't look down on yourself. Let no people treat you cheaply. You are not such cheap. Believe. And the Lord is going to take you high and use you. It may be today. It may be tomorrow. It may be after two days. It may be after two weeks. Thank God for those that the, the Lord is using already. It may be after a year. But let these words that I'm speaking to you today by the mouth of the Lord to be the seed that shall germinate and grow. I always speak to myself that whenever I believe and I conceive it, it's the pregnant that I will give birth to. Because whatever my mind believes and goes down in my heart, I believe I'll give birth to it. Whatever my mind believes and confess, I believe I will achieve and walk in it. And I will live to see it. And I always preach and say, I'll be the first beneficiary of whatever that I believe. You shall be the first beneficiary. And don't expect other people to be the first beneficiary. When the Lord Jesus Christ saved us, God did not lift up man, no. He lifted up first the Son and made his name to be above all the names. So the name of Joseph, the name of Ernest, the name of whoever comes after the name of Jesus Christ. When David won the battle, he was praised. People started praising him singing songs about him and which is not wrong someone who has won the battle who has done something good can be praised and is worth praise because he has done the great thing don't be mistaken it is scripture it is written when Moses won the battle when Moses delivered the children of Israel songs about him were sung Miriam sang the songs of giving glory to God of what Moses did and how the Lord has delivered him it is not wrong to praise the servant of God who has done something right in your life. It is, it is not the first thing. It is started in the Old Testament. You see where David was praised. Songs stopped dancing about David because they were dancing not really about the David, but the God of David. The God of David who gave them victory. The God of David who gave them uh, freedom. It is normal and it is biblical. Someone can do that. Praise the Lord. Yes. So you shall be praised. Even when no man praises you, God will send the angels. They shall praise you. God shall lift you up. God shall put the praise in your heart. Shall put the praise in someone's mouth because of what you have done. When you win the battle against the giant, be certainly sure that people shall benefit from you even after the days of your life on earth. People shall walk in the battle that you won. So don't look down on yourself. Look it beyond yourself. You create things. You speak words. You leave marks as a living legend and the legend that have gone to the glory of God. Praise the name of the Lord. God clearly says, we are the children of Abraham. God prays 
in the name of Abraham. On us. Not, not Abraham. Not God praising Abraham. No. God lift up the name of Abraham to us. And the name of the Abraham is praised. And we praise the name of Abraham. Yes, because the scripture in Hebrew says, yes, the greater blesses, the lesser. So it's God who put the praise of someone, someone's name, someone's life. And such person is praised. Praise the Lord for all the good works that they have done. If you look into politics, politics, they do that. They praise the president. Every president existing today or a king, there are songs about them, including especially us Africans, including in our tradition. Kings and chiefs are praised. There are songs composed for them. People dance. People dance their songs. So I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that as I speak this prophetic word to you, you shall stand the ground and win the battle against the giant. Praise the Lord. I just want to highlight something to you before we go deeper in the word. We have three characters here that we are going to look at mostly. The first character is David. The second character is Goliath. And at the same place where the fight took, took place, it was in Judah. Yes. And I will give you the meanings of all three, three characters that we have in our subject today. The three characters. The first character is David. The second character is Goliath. The third character is Judah. And all these are the names of people. And Judah again was the name of a town or a place or a situation. But people also are given names after Judah. Praise the Lord. So now, I want you to look at it. What is the meaning of the name David? Praise the Lord. Yes, I'm prophesying to your sons who are David or to yourself if you're David. So I prophesy and I'm speaking this. Let your son know the meaning of the name. Or you, let your husband or your spouse or boyfriend. And if I'm talking to you right and you're listening to me, David, you must listen to what is the meaning of David. Praise the Lord. And may what I'm saying, follow this name of David. Follow this name again of Judah. Praise the Lord. Certainly not the name of Goliath. The name of Goliath is not an evil name. I'll show you. It's not an evil name. The meaning of Goliath is not an evil name. But just because it is related to something that was an opposition, that's why we don't want it. But I tell you the truth, the name like Lucifer, meaning the, the, the morning star, is not an evil name. But now the character was behind the name when the devil came and deceived this person. That's why people does not allow, does not love these names. Even the name of Judah, when you look at Judah, people don't like to be named Judah because they think of Judas Iscariot. <laughs> but it's not like that. They are all good names. But look at what the devil did with uh, uh, all these situations. Praise the Lord, somebody. Yes. Let me, let, let, let me give you first the name uh, of David. David it means beloved. If you're writing or if you do not have the pen, I want you to run and to get the pen. Or maybe you have to leap uh, the broadcast so that you get it once again. Yes. David means beloved. The name of David. It means beloved. In Hebrew, David comes from the name which is Dawid. Dawid is D-A-W-I-D. David is Dawid in Hebrew. And Dawid comes from the name which means Dod. So Dod is a form of Dawid. And Dawid is a form of what? David. So it's a three-level name. Dod, Dawid, and then it gives birth to what? David, meaning beloved. Praise the Lord. And most of the people are called the weed. They were called, they were, called, they were uncle. If you're an uncle of someone, they will call you in Hebrew. They say, you, you are the weed or you are David. Again, David means uncle. Praise the Lord. So it, it is a name that means beloved. David means beloved. And again, it means, it is, it means uncle. Praise the Lord. It, it is derived from the name called the weed in Hebrew. And again, from the name called Dot. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, somebody. I hope everyone is following. And then, Goriath, in Hebrew, it means uncover or reveal. Imagine, uncover or reveal. Goriath comes from the word which is Goyat. That's why even up to now, in Israel, most of African language, they say Goriath. So it is an Hebrew word that has been translated to say Goyat. Praise the Lord. Or Gala. 
imagine so most of the Hebrew names you, you, you see three stages of, of how it has come to be in fact David is an English form of Dawid in Hebrew Golath is, uh, is derived from uh, Hebrew called uh, Goyat G-O-L Y-A-T G-O-L Y-A-T Goyat and then it is derived or derived from the name Gala G-A-L-A-H G-A-L-A-H Gala Praise the Lord Three levels of names Praise the Lord Praise the Lord Yes And then Judah Judah it means Yada And Yada means Praise Judah it means Yada and the other means praise. So now when the battle was on between David and Gorath, they were fighting for a place, particular place called Judah. And to see who's going to be praised and be exalted on that place. That's why we see David is a very good and profound, he was a very good and profound praiser who praised the Lord. Because even the place where he went to fight the battle, it meant praise. And then the devil started by more than 40 days revealing himself in Goriath and saying, I am the one. Goriath, some of them, they say in English, they, 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 they have tried to twist the meaning. They say giant. No, Goriath does not mean giant. But Goriath himself, he was a giant. It, it means to review or uncover. Himself, who was given the name of Goriath. Gala, he was just a giant. Now people, because he was a giant, they take it that Goroth means giant. It does not mean giant. It means uh, uncover or to reveal. So now the devil was revealing himself at a certain place. Which place was it? It was on Judah. And at that place, it means you must be praised. And that's why the devil, in the mind of Goroth and in the mouth of Goroth, he could stand and say, who can come here and defeat me? Who can oppose me? Because my name means review. And I've revealed myself. It is me who must be praised. Can you see what, what was happening? He was demanding the praise from the children of Israel. That you now must praise me. And if you follow the history. David and Goliath. They have one source. Their grandmother came from the same source. Same source. The mother. The mother-in-law of Ruth. Was the grandmother of Goliath. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes. So now, there's a fight. Whenever you see the giant in your life, it is the one that is fighting. You are standing at the place means Judah. So now, the devil wants to be praised. And you want to degrade the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. And now, because David means love, and the Bible says, in love there is no fear. Can you see? That's why David, because of his name, he had power to stand and oppose the devil that was in Goliath. And they uncircumcised the Philistine. Philistine, who wanted to fight or who defended the whole Palestine and silenced the children of God. Praise the Lord. And now, when you look at all this, it does not take the age to win. There could be many, many generations in your family. They have, they have failed to fight this giant. I prophesy in the name of Jesus Christ that as I speak now, you are standing in the footsteps, you and me, of David. And we are winning this battle in the name of Jesus. We have to win it. David is gone. But we are called after the name of David. Because we are called after the name of Jesus Christ. David is physically derived to the name of Jesus Christ. Son of David. Jesus, for God so loved the world that he sent his only son. That whoever believe in him will not power, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world. So what drived God to come and win the battle? What moved Jesus? It was love. What moved David? It was because of his name. So you and me, when we love the Lord, we are being prepared by the Lord to win the battle and the name of the Lord must be praised. 
So it does not matter how long the devil has been fighting the family and he has stood against the family, has stood against your life, he has stood against the centuries of your families, that they have all been failing, they have all been, uh, been people who have been filled with fear and sickness and being controlled. I prophesy in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, that you are the devils. We are the devils and we must win the battle. In the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. Hallelujah, somebody. Yes. So now let me take you a step by step. How we're going to look into the book of 1 Samuel chapter 17. We are studying the, first, uh, the book of 1 Samuel chapter 17. 1 Samuel chapter 17. We are winning the battle in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord give you the grace to fight and not give up. For you are beloved. Praise the Lord. If, if, if you had named your child David and you never knew the meaning, now you know. So I want you to go and lay your hand on your child and tell your child that your name David means this. And what the Lord meant for this name is what I speak is the same anointing I speak upon your life, my son. Praise, praise the Lord. There are some cultures they give also the name of David to a lady, Davido. So it's supposed to be like that. Some they give to men and women. What I'm saying, just go and lay the hand on your child and speak these words in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And let the same anointing that was upon David be upon your child in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, somebody. Yes. Let's go now. And this is the portion that you need to give your child to know where the name comes from and what happens after you give the, the meaning uh, to, your, to, your, to, your, to your child. Praise the Lord. And I prophesy that that child shall stand. You are the stepping stone for that child who shall liberate, begin the fight, win the, uh, the giant, and let your child finish the fight. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I pray that for all the devils that have run away from the face of the Lord, may the Lord bring them. We, we, we want people who can bring us solutions that we may win the battles. In Jesus' name, praise the Lord. So we are in 1 Samuel chapter 17. 1 Samuel chapter 17. We'll start from a 4. I will take you bit by bit and we'll stand on some places. We, 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 I will show you how we are going to move. Okay. If you do not share the link, please share the link or make a watch party so that somebody be delivered and be free today, just today, not another day. Now, today, praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yes, for you have given birth, you can even encourage your child that when you give birth to a baby boy, he shall be David Christ. Praise the Lord. Yes, yes. Moves David, David, in the anointing of the Lord. Yes, verse 4. Of first Samuel chapter 17, it says, uh, okay, if we start from one, it says, Now the Philistines gathered their armies together to battle and were gathered at Sako, Sako, uh, which belongs to Judah. They encamped between Sako and Azekah. In Ephes, Damim. In Ephes, Damim. Verse 2. And so, and so, and the men of Israel were gathered together, and they encamped in the valley of Ela, and drew up in battle Ale against the Philistines. Verse 3. The Philistines stood on a mountain uh, on one side, and Israel stood on a mountain on the other side with a valley between them. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Verse 4. And the champion went out from the camp of the Philistines named Goliath from Gath whose, whose height was six cubits and a span. Imagine because he was standing at Judah and he must be praised. And they crowned him already as a champion because there was no one to oppose him. Are you getting it? Imagine. And it may be that this sickness has crowned itself as a champion. This situation and this problem has crowned itself as a champion. 
wait for the deliverance of the Lord and to finish the words of the Lord. You shall see that you are winning today, not another day, just today. Praise the Lord. So the, the, the giant came and, 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 and he was very tall and he silenced all of them. And he was standing now. I'm a champion. I'm standing here as, as, as at, at Judah. I'm the one who's supposed to be praised. Yes, I'm the one who's praised. Praise the Lord. We are not counting those small names because we're talking about a city. Yes, he stand and he stand. He said, who can pose me? Who can fight me? And truly there was no one. And they crowned him as a champion. As a champion from the enemy side. As a champion. Praise the Lord. So now let's go, let's go. Uh, I'll move you from scripture to scripture. I want you to be writing. Uh, then, listen to this. The review of David begins with the message that the story gets more nicer. Verse 12. Jump. First Samuel chapter 17, verse 12, it says, Now David was the son of the Ephratite of Bethlehem, Judah. Where was Jesus Christ born? In Bethlehem. Praise the Lord. Are you getting me people over here? Amen. Where was Jesus Christ born? Mm -hmm. Of Judea. Praise the Lord. Bethlehem of Judah. Now listen to what he's saying here. Now David was the son of the Ephratite of Bethlehem, Judah, exactly where Jesus Christ was born. Who, whose name was Jesse, and who had eight sons? The father was Jesse, and he had eight sons. And the man was old, advanced in years, in the days of Saul. The Bible now brings now the starring of the movie. He starts now to introducing him that no. Despite this champion standing like this, there is one who is the last born, who was the last born, the, 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 the eighth. He is there. His name was what? Praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because this one who is standing there to be praised, David, is not the one who is supposed to be there. Beloved. This one who was beloved is the one who is supposed to challenge the grave standing who is being praised as a champion. Praise the Lord. So now we can see that the beloved one has been revealed now. If you go to 16, it says, But David occasionally went and returned from Saul to feed his father's sheep at Bethlehem. Because David was saving under Saul. If you know your son is David or you give your child the widow and you want the child to work for God, please put him under someone who shall bring him up. Praise the Lord. This time Saul was in a very good spirit and everything was fine. He was an anointed soul. He when really he died, he was an anointed soul. David himself said, no, do not touch the anointed one. Do my prophet no harm. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So now, he's saving under who? He's saving under who? Saul. So no matter what he did, wherever he worked, the Bible is clearly saying, and uh, uh, in, 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 in 12, 12, we see the liberation of uh, David, and then 16 it says, And the Philistine drew 15 it says, But David occasionally went and returned from Saul to feed his father's sheep at Bethlehem. So David was serving under Saul, and then David was being allowed to go and work for his own biological father. The spiritual father was who? The father in the Lord was who? Saul. He saved under him. You remember, Saul was a prophet in chapter 10. Saul prophesied. That's why David was also a prophet. Saul was a serious, strong warrior. That's why David was a warrior. Saul loved music and David played music. Can you see the compatible issues and how it went? Praise the Lord. This is what happens. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm not teaching about son and father and son. I'm just encouraging you. 16. And the Philistine drew near... And presented his, uh, and the Philistine drew near and presented himself 40 days. And the Philistine, meaning this Gorath, 40 days, morning and evening. 40 days. He will come in the morning, he said, Maybe there's a champion here. There, maybe there's a challenger here. Can someone come? And there was no challenge. He goes back and rests. In the evening, he goes back and says, Maybe there's a challenger here. There was no challenge. And he, he drew back. He went. 
Can you see? Praise the Lord. These are stages. You are introduced. You are born in the world. When you are born in the world, the Lord is revealing who your name is. If you don't know your name or you have just a traditional name, you don't know. I want you to give your name to say, I am. my name is Bilal. My name is David. Praise the Lord. At least you must say, my name is Christ, meaning anointed. Praise the Lord. Yes. Or my name is Joseph. Eh? <laughs> so after being born and being introduced to the child, to, to, to the to the to the world, God is saying, Your name means this, and he put him under someone so that he must he must learn life and he must learn how to do things. And again, he was not a lazy person. The Bible is showing us that he was working a spiritual life and a physical life. The spiritual life was connected to Saul. This physical life was connected to his own physical father. So he was not a lazy person. You must not be a lazy person if you want to win the battle. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now we see the champion here by that time was Gorath, who used to appear himself. Now, when David went there and he heard what was done, what, what was happening, look at what he said in 24. Look at what, what, what was promised. What was promised. And all the men of Israel, when they saw the man, fled, fled from him. And were dreadful afraid. My God, my God. Imagine when they when they just see Gorath, everyone runs away. I better die trying than run away. I'm saying the truth. I better die trying than running away. That they were all too much. When they just see the man, they never even tested him if it is truly a strong person. No one ever tested him. Even beat him at once, at uh, one time with anything. Nobody. Nobody. They were, imagine the fear that they want even to die. Dread fear. It is the fear that made, I'm reading NKJV. It is the fear that you feel like you're dying. Hey, 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 hey. What a shame. These guys, I'm going to ask them questions. I will find them because we are going together. We are, we are going to the same place. Praise the Lord. How, how are you afraid like that? 25. 25. You must not be afraid like that. Are you listening? You are afraid like that, you come out of my house. <laughs> Don't be afraid like that, children of God. It's a shame. 25. So the men of Israel said, Have you seen this man who has come up? Surely he has come up to defile Israel. They even know his mission. And it shall be that the man who kills him the king will enrich him with great riches. The king was not having spiritual riches, physical riches. There was a promise. The one who can bring down this one who is insulting us. To devour is to insult you, to bring you to nothing and totally nothing that you have no identity. Mm -hmm. That is defiling. And then the king is saying, we'll give him all the riches and we'll give him his daughter. That daughter must be a virgin. And give his father's house exemption from taxes in Israel. My God, look at it. In every shop that you go, if there is tax, they must do their computer nicely. Tax must come out of you. The land you will not pay. Yes. You not pay the land, everything that you buy, it must be at that price without tax. Now you become the owner of the land. And imagine all these things now. How can another person be praised? Meaning you can even be praised more than the king himself has promised you. Because, or, or let me say, compared to the king, because the king does not pay tax. So now you be much more super special. Anyone who does not pay tax and you are the native, the indigenous of that land, uh, it must be that you are more great important as the king. Praise the Lord. But this time you find that you're in the kings, the kings and our princes, they need to pay. Praise the Lord. So there was great promise of riches, of being given a, a, a daughter who was a virgin and uh, he does not say a yeah, virgin, but that, that's how it was. In the Old Testament, you cannot give your child to someone like that who is not a virgin. No, you give someone who is a virgin. And then he's saying there will be an exemption of paying what? Tax. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, somebody. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. 
where we okay we are on 25 26 then david spoke to the men who stood by him saying what shall be done for the man who kills the philistine and takes away the reproach from israel meaning what shall be done for the man who kills this philistine and take away the shame praise the lord because it was a shame mm -hmm. for who is the who is this uncircumcised philistine that he should defy the armies of the living God. The story start getting sweeter. Praise the Lord, somebody. I'm talking to your life. Your story must get sweeter. And I want you to look at the sickness. I want to look at the financial situation. I want to look at the HR situation and say, what is this demon that can defy the children of God in my life or in my family? Enough is enough. Praise the Lord. 27. And the people answered him in this manner, saying, So shall it be done for the man who kills him. 28. So, 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 so now they, they, they told David now what the promise was. When you kill this giant. Now look at the elder brother now. Now Eliab, his eldest brother, heard when he spoke to the men and Eliab's anger was aroused against David and he said, Why did you come down here? And with whom have you left those few sheep in the wilderness? I know your pride and the insolence. You say you are very much, you are insulting, you are insulting person, very much insolence of your heart. For you have come down to see this battle. Now the brother is defining David in another way. And David said, what have I done now? Is there not, is there not a cause? What have I done? Is there not something why I came here? I did not just come there. Is something why I came here? He's defining David to be very stubborn and insulting because he cannot say it is an ins it's insulting. I, be I believe in their culture whereby you 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 claim that you can fight the battle, leaving the elder brothers who have failed. They will say, "Who are you that you could you can say such a thing?" Praise the Lord. And in twenty nine, in twenty nine, going down. You can see David go back and convince Saul. He tells Saul that I can fight him. I can fight this Philistine. From 29, if you go up to 37, and, 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 and. Saul said, no, David, you are very young. You cannot do that. He said, no, your servant has already fought the bear and the lion. They tried to steal my animals. I went with my own hands and defeated the bear and take the the the, 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 the my, my animal from the mouth of the bear and from the mouth of the lion and so said hey serious he said yes so now david had to fight the discouragement of the brother now because the brother was angry with him and was elder just like some of the elders, they discourage us. No, my daughter, no, my son, you cannot. I remember the time that I was going for prayer and fasting. I told my mom that I'm doing for 40 days. She said, no, 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 you're going to die. No, don't try, don't try. I said, no, I'm going to do it, mom. He said, no, 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 you're going to die. And I did it and I finished. I was surprised. He said, what? When you started on the first day, I thought like this one year. You finished and it is over. I said, yes. The second time when I went there, again, she said, have you come again for 40 days? I said, no. Because I knew that I would be discouraged. I said, no, just a few days. And again I did it. Because I knew that I cannot compete with my mother's words. So me who speaks with the Lord and who knows how the Lord has shown me and guided me, I must keep it as a secret. And then she shall just see the outcome. And again I went for 40 days. And she kept on coming to my room to hear if I'm still alive when I'm praying. Why was she doing that? Because she was not in the level of where the Lord is speaking. That's what I'm saying. In healing and following the Lord, there is no age. There is no age limit. Don't make such a mistake. When a child is called, respect the child. Because you're respecting the hand of God. You're respecting God who has put such a gift in that person. Praise the Lord. I end much respect to my own mother, calling me servant of God always. And up to today, up to right now, she does not call me by my name. She calls me servant of God. Because now she saw the achievement on what God has done in my life. So there are times that you cannot compete with the words of the elders. So what did David do? 
David went to Saul to say, I cannot compete with the words of my brother. It will look disrespectful because he's telling me already, I am full of insolence. I am insulting him. I'm very stubborn. So now I'm going to the one who gave the promise and who is the one of the battle, who is the king, who has a command and is the chief in commander who can give the right to say, go and don't go. So now David went and convinced the king. And what did the king say? King Saul said, go, go on. So he fought and won the first obstacle of the eldest brother. Now listen to 43, verse 43. Our, uh, the Philistines were looking at it and let's, let's read 43. So the Philistines said to David, this is God said to David, Am I a dog that you come to me with sticks? And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. 44. And the Philistines said to David, Come to me, and I will give your flesh to the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. Now look at it. He fought first the first battle. The first battle of discouragement, the big discouragement was from his own family. Area, the, the elder brother. Which most of you, you can tell your grandmother, your, your mother, I'm taking this way and I'm going to do this and I'm going to achieve this. They will definitely discourage you. Because they want you to live the way they know that the life structure, structure is like this and, and us, the, the, us the, the, the rules, we live like this and we do things like this. They want you to be one of them. I always advise people, I say, you must be careful. You are going to feel like them, you cry like them, you die like them without anything. You just be an added problem in that family. Instead of bringing a solution and being a solution. You just be an added problem in the country instead of being a solution for the community and for the country. I want you to look, listen, the Bible says the one who is from above is above all. So when you listen to the one who is above all, it is definite that you are going to achieve. Anna fought the, the, the problem of barrenness by healing from above and crying to the one who is above all. And the one who is above all heard a cry, even more than the priest. I may stand as a prophet of God. I may stand as a pastor. I will never know everything. I'm not God. I'm speaking and delivering on the path that the Lord has given me. But there must be a way that you communicate to God yourself. This is how David was. This is how, uh, how, poor, how poor his life came to be and how he achieved all the things that he achieved. This is how Anna was. This is how Moses was. There must be an area where you have a serious personal relationship with God. Whereby you learn how to hear God's voice and you are sure this is not about something to do with imagination. Get out of all those nonsense and deceive yourself. This is a true relationship that you stand with God and you stand in truth and you fight your way so that things may work. Whether you leave your brother or whether you are twins, it doesn't matter. If the twin does not think like you, you leave your twin behind because you'll be the savior to the same twin. You'll be the savior to your mother or to your father. You'll be the savior to someone around you, in your family, in your community, and everywhere. When we talk about fighting the chant, fighting every chant, it must be a deeper rooted relationship with God, which does not best on a servant of God. The servant of God will help you. David was helped by Saul. The door was opened for him to fight the enemy. Who opened it? The word of Saul. But there was that relationship which David had with God in heaven. Saul so brought up David. Saul so opened the door for David. I'm preaching today. I never opened the door for myself. I've had fathers, not one father, not one father. I want to listen. Not one spiritual father. Because some of them, they, 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 they just praise one and they forget where they're coming from. I've had fathers in my life who have fathered me. On this level, they take me, they put me there. On this level, they take me, they put me there. Another one who take me, who put me there. Another one who take me, who put me there. I have, especially in my life, I had three fathers in my life who have helped me. The one who baptized me, who trained me, who took me even to school. Who is a white man? Reverend Gary Stewart is in America from Baptist. And then I'm Lebron Sir Trumbo, who is in Zambia, who took me also up to another level. And today I have Pastor Ben, ben Mira, who is in my life again. So every servant of God God put me into had a shift in my life to put me somewhere and to put me somewhere and to take me somewhere. You can never do it on your own. Someone must open the door for you. 
The first leadership that I stood with and to do things when I came to Namibia, Pastor Ben here, Pastor Ben Mira, is the one who took me in and he gave me the chance to preach and to bless me. Up to today, I'm submitting to him. Why? Because God used him in my life. You can never do it alone. You can never be called alone and do it alone. Maybe, in another way, maybe you can do it alone. Maybe you can do it alone. Forgive me to say you can never do it alone. Maybe you can do it alone. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you can do it alone. Praise the Lord. Yes. So someone was there for you. You, you, you know, the word of God is a transferred message and wisdom that God himself has put in structures. Why am I saying like this? The only man who was there alone was Adam. But remember, Adam was there for Eve. And it has gone like that. You, the children who are born, the way you are born, you were never alone. Whether your father was there or not, whether your mother was there or not, you were not born by yourself. Someone was there. Someone must open the door. Your mother opened the womb and then you were there and you were given birth to. It's always like that. Somebody must open the door for you. And I'm opening the door for someone right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So where are we? Okay, the Philistine, they kissed David and this Philistine God said, you are coming to me with sticks and so I'll, I'll kill you. And I'll give you flesh to to, to um, I'll give you flesh to to the birds of the air in 44. And the beast of the field, they will eat your flesh. That's what the, the, this one cursed David. Praise the Lord. 45. David now is confessing who he is. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is good. Another time. <laughs> 45. You must not let the program on WhatsApp to run for a long time. You must cut me. Maybe 10 minutes to cut it. 45. We are on 45. Confession of David. What is David confessing? He's saying, Then David said to the Philistine, You come to me with a sword, with a spear, and with a javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel whom you have defiled. So now he's confessing, David is confessing his hand. I have, me have not come on myself. You also, you came to your, uh, with your gods and you have cursed me. You have spoken all those evil against me. But I will show you that I have come also with the God of Israel. David, that's what he's saying. He's saying you have come with, to me with a javelin and you have come with me with a spear. Is the Lord of us that I have come with. Praise the Lord. And you don't forget that you have defiled this, this God. And 46, he says, The day the Lord will deliver you into my hands. He says, this is the day that the Lord is going to deliver you in my hands. And I will strike you and take your head from you. And this day I will give the carcasses of the camp of the Philistines to the birds of the air and to the wild beasts on the earth and that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. Praise the Lord. David also has confessed. You say you do this to me. I'm going to do that to you because me I'm coming with the living God. Praise the Lord. Because God, David knew their gods are dead and, and nothing cannot be compared to the living God. And then when you look at uh, the way the word it is has been written, David confessed this from verse 45 to 47. And now David took advantage. I want, I want, I want to, to say this. Pay attention to the God. There are chances that the Lord gives you. Grab it quick. Don't waste time. You move with spiritual senses for you to know that this is the right time for me to do this. Because there are many times we fail to win. We say almost, almost. Why are we saying almost? Almost to get my position. Almost I went to the interview, but almost because that man came and disturbed. That woman came and wait, wait, wait. Listen, wait, wait. Almost is because you are a little bit late with your spiritual senses to sense when is the time for you to enter, when is the time to strike. Look at what David did. 
in 48, from 48 to 49. I want you to see from 48 to 49. He says now, so it was, so it was, when the Philistine arose and came and drew near to meet David, that David hurried and ran toward the army to meet the Philistine, to meet Goliath, 49. Then David put his hand in his bag and took out a stone and slung it and struck the Philistine in his forehead to, so that the stone sank into his forehead and he fell his face to the ground. Grab that opportunity, don't be afraid. Take that chance that the Lord has given you. Make a move and shift, child of God. Occupy that position. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of that chance, you shall never lose it. I prophesy that you're going to get in quicker and you are just taking the jam down. Praise the Lord. Look at 50. So David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and a stone. And he struck the Philistine and killed him. But there was no sword in the hand of David. Don't fight, don't quarrel, don't, don't, don't die because of what you see. We move by faith and not by sight. This is the scripture. Don't be afraid of someone because he's driving a car, he has a big house, he has a big position. That does not matter. When you stand to compete, any way you are going for interviews, say, I'm coming in the name of the Lord our God. He was uncircumcised, the Philistine. Look, when looking to the book of, um, we're looking to the book of Ephesians, he says, put the helmet of salvation. Where does the helmet come? It protects the head. So, these uncircumcised Christians was not saved. So you cannot compete with someone who does not speak salvation. When you speak of the Lord Jesus Christ, that you believe you are speaking of salvation. David spoke, he was saying, I am a saved child of God. I don't need to put this and that. God is my protector. He is delivering me in you in my hands and I have to do with you what I have to do with you. Don't fear of coronavirus or a child. Don't fear of the name and the samples you see. Fear the Lord who has brought everything to existence. And call upon the name of the Lord and you shall be saved. Romans chapter 10 verse 13 says so. Whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I pray that you call upon the name of the Lord and your salvation be rest, uh, uh, be covered and be, be, be protected by the Lord God Almighty. Especially people who does not represent God shall never compete with you. No, there are witches in their family and I'm afraid of what you are confessing negative and this giant shall take many years. The way it ate your grandmother, the way it ate your grandfather, the way it ate your mother, the way it ate your father, it shall eat you, it shall eat your children too. Until your confession is revived, until you rebuke the enemy and say, I will not die like they died. I believe in the name of Jesus, in the Lord our God. The Lord and his word prevails more than anything. The word of the Lord prevails more than anything. David took the chance. He did not play with an opportunity that was given. He used it carefully. When the devil advanced to when the when Goliath advanced to him, going near him, he also ran to him. But when he was running to him, Goliath when he was, he was running, he was just running so that he must stand again and take the spear and the javelin and try to prepare himself. David, when he was running, he took already his hand into the bag 
and they take the sling and they hit. Already on the forehead. Because there was no salvation on the Philistine, no matter how much they boast. Salvation belongs to the Lord our God, the creator of the heavens and the earth. So you confess positively that I'm healed in the name of Jesus. That this giant of sickness is defeated in the name of... Listen, the greatest salvation is in the word of the Lord to know the truth. Jesus said it in John chapter 8. You shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. That's the greatest deliverance to be free. There is a deliverance that you are prayed for. Touch and the demon manifests and so on. But the greatest deliverance here from my mouth. David is also saying, my God will deliver you. Why? Because he said, I have come to you in the God of Israel. Who is the God of the armies of Israel? They are not armies on their own. They are armies because of their God. I am not David as I am. I am David because of my God. This is how things work. So now, he knew the truth about God. He did not go and praise another thing. He did not go and fear like other people, including his brother, they were having deadly fear. No. He said, I've come. I represent God here. I don't represent myself. When you are facing sicknesses and situations, you say, I know I may not have finances now. But in the name of the Lord our God, I stand and I can see that the Lord is taking me out of debt in Jesus' name. I am facing the debt situation in the name of the Lord my God. That's how it is. That's how it is. Your confession, child of God, the greatest deliverance is to be out of ignorance. Out of not knowing the truth about you. When David was going for the battle, he had to inquire, what is the situation around? How is this circumstance like this? I always advise children of God, don't fight the battle naked. You don't pray. You don't study the word that takes you away from bondage. And you think just by mere mention in the name of the Lord, you are going to be free. It can never happen. Faith is lifted up by your action. Which action? The action that you take towards the word of the Lord. The action that you take towards praying and having a deep and good relationship before the Lord. No matter how much you can pray, if the word is not rooted in you, your faith shall be behind. Faith comes by yielding the word of the Lord. And the word itself says, those that hear, they are good. But those who act, they are much better. Faith is not the issue just of talking. It's the issue of action. You act upon what you have been required by the word of the Lord. Then you come out of whatever situation that is of a problem to you. No matter how great servant of God you can go and approach. If you are not studying the word of the Lord. Every miracle and pronunciation of every blessing that is upon you. It is all temporarily. Why is the Philistine defeated? They have their gods. It's not a living God. They have their gods. They have no instructions of their God. They just worship the way they feel like they can worship him. It's the God that is made out of human hand. They make, they make, they care of something and they make it and they put it in their in their place, which was the Dagon. Dagon can never be compared with God. It was made out of human's hand. Our God is so much greater that you cannot put him in the pocket. You cannot put him in the handbag. He's a greater God that he cannot even sit in the human's house. You know, he allows us, because we are his children, he allows us to build a building and we call it the church where we are meeting God. It's because he's a good, loving God. He allows us like that. But God has said it also in his words. He cannot dwell in the house which is made with man's hands. No. So he brings the presence there and meet us there because that's the place he has destined us. He has chosen for us to meet and worship. He's a greater God. You cannot make him with your own hands. No. So when you find out and you know the truth as I said, you stand on the word. You stand on this scripture and the other scripture. Deliverance is certain with you. The killing of ignorance is the killing of the devil. Because the devil will never lie in your face. The devil will never lie. You are standing on the truth. 
When the devil went to Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ did not say fire. I'm not saying you cannot pray fire. You can, it's, it's fine. Jesus Christ did not say fire. What did he do? He stood on the word. He delivered himself from the devil by quoting the scriptures. Yes. The Berean written in the book of Acts. The Bible calls them more wise. They were very wise than any others. Why? Because they checked scripture. When you preach to them like I'm saying, they'll go back and check if what I'm saying is the truth. That is the proper deliverance that man gets. So now, how does the anointing work now with me and it comes to you and it heals you? Because I'm loaded with the word of God. That's why when I speak, things are going to happen in your life. You got to be loaded when facing your giant. You got to have the proper information about yourself and what the Lord is talking about the giant. Because the giant will never leave you like that. Goliath came like the devil went to Jesus. He stood on his words. He said, I've come in the name of our gods. And people have gone. I've come to you. Representing the evil spirits that they have. Listen very carefully. Listen very carefully. Me as I stand as a child of God. There is no one who can kill me. Not even my mother. Not even my father. No one unless the Lord allows it. Because I stand on the scripture. I'm rooted in the scripture. I'm telling you. So you fighting your battle. You got to be rooted in the word of God. Otherwise, you shall all remain poor in your family. The way the devil has been killing people to, to remain poor, killing whatever they have in their hands, it must be broken. Whatever money that they have, it will make you to have a lot of debt so that your money cannot fit and clear and you to enjoy your life. Your enjoyment of your life is fake. It's not true. Because now you are trying to be like any other people they are. Don't try to deceive yourself, child of God. Remain in the word. Learn to study. Why do you think the devil discourages you to read the word mostly? To read the word and understand it. He knows the moment you know the truth, you are set free. Even before the pastor pray for you. Before any servant of God speak a word in you. That's why when you are standing in the word and the servant of God stand in your face and speak. It will, it will be a free flow because you are related to the world. You are not a Christian by what way. You are a child of God by the food of the word of God that you eat. And the amount of John that comes to you comes totally to discredit whatever you have in you. So you need to keep updating yourself and feeding yourself with the word from this level to another, from this level to another, so that when you speak the word, the devil will hear your command and you will disappear. Otherwise, it shall be a merry-go-round. And we have to stop it in the name of Jesus. You got to be that saving David from the giant in your family in the name of Jesus. You are the David of today I'm talking to. You got to stand in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. You have to stand. Don't assure me. The devil, the, 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 the devil in Goliath, assume the children of Israel. He insulted them. They are watching with their eyes. Sitting with their weapons. Sitting. But their weapons were not amplified because they never called and invoked the name of the Lord. And David went there and he prayed. And he spoke the word. None of the soldiers of Israel could stand. Not even the elder brother Eliab could say, okay, we are also going to fight in the name of the Lord. No, they forgot. They forgot. What was I saying the other day? I said the devil makes sure he make you to forget that all you are is from God. The life you live. The, the water you drink, the, 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 the land where you, the earth, the land where you are, you are stepping, the air that you breathe, the eyes that you see with, who gave you the life that you have? It is the Lord. Now, this foolish animal, the devil, God saw devil, he wants you to forget the past and the good thing that the Lord has done in your life so that he will discourage you of one problem and defies you as a giant with one problem. Look at these uh, uncircumcised Philistines. One man came out of all just like one problem now it brings others. He said, who can fight me? Some of you, you have HIV and you think now I'm finished. What finish are you? You are still existing and breathing. What finish are you? You have cancer, you say I'm finished. You are not finished. Stand up and rebuke that devil based on the weight of the Lord God Almighty. Praise the Lord somebody. Listen to what he's saying now. Uh, 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 when he killed the Philistine. The Philistine fell with his face. On the ground, 50. So David prevailed over the Philistines with a sling and a stone and he struck the Philistine and killed him. But there was no sweat in the hands of David. Don't worry, you have the word. You have the word in you. 
51. Therefore David ran and stood over the Philistine, took his sword and drew it out of its shelf and killed him and cut off his head with it. And with the Philistines saw, uh, when the Philistines saw that the champ, their champion was dead, they fled. Listen now. That's why we pray, Prophet, say, back to the sender. They may come with this and this and this with you. You pray and they speak the word of the Lord and everything shall go back to the one who came to fight you. In the name of Jesus. Whether they have used witchcraft, whether they have used magic, satanism, whatever way they have used, whether they have used gossip, they have used jealousy and lies against you. In the name of Jesus, when you stand upon this name I'm mentioning, the name of Jesus, you shall see your freedom in Jesus' name. And no one will match you. The same weapons that they are using against you shall turn back to the one who has been using them against you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I've seen mostly, there are many people who have fought children of God and who have fought pastors in another, in another way, without knowing servants of God. And things have turned around and fight them again. Because there is no way, when you find that there is power of God here and the servant of God is shield of the power, is back to the sender. It will bounce like a ball. Boom. And it face you again. Who send it? It will face you again. Who send it? It will face you again. Who send it? But the devil likes it now. Whenever you say, oh, here, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I'm dead. He knows the shield is broken. Your confession, your confession matters. And the devil gets ground and wants to kill you. Why? Because of your confession. When you read down here, on 53, then the children of Israel on, on, on 52. Now the men of Israel and Judah arose and shouted and persuaded the Philistines as far as the entrance of the valley and to go to the gates of Akron. And they wounded all the Philistines, fell along the road of Sharaim, even as, as, as far as Gath and Akron. Now imagine, because of David, you opened the door. The door was opened by Saul. The training was done by Saul. Saul opened the go ahead. God allowed it. David one day, he did not forget. He said, I've come here in the name of the Lord. He killed their champion, who was a champion, in their own deceptive way for just 40 days. What happened? David now opened the door for the real soldiers, who were weak soldiers. Now they got power and fight the other group just because of David. You are the David I'm talking to in the name of Jesus. Never be lazy to pray. Never be lazy to, to fight uh, your battle by the scriptures. I tell you the biggest deliverance that man needs. It's, he needs the word of the Lord. You shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. And this is the truth I'm telling you. You are the devil to fight the battle now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy in Jesus name. In every sickness and every trouble that the devil has tried to bring in your life. You are going to win as far as you go back to the word. And confess the God that has brought you far up to today. Let not the devil come enter your room. Enter your house. And cause sicknesses among your children and yourself. The devil shall not defy my house. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. The devil shall not defy my family. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. When he thinks today and tomorrow and this month is getting grounds. He does not know I'm just preparing myself for the real battle. When people laugh and mock and discouragement. Like Eliab discouraging the brother. Calling him all sorts of negative names. As long as I know who my father is. As long as I know who my God is. Those words shall not work on my life. The enemy shall come and curse you. They shall do their incantations. They shall do their evil things and cast a spell on you. But how is your confession, child of God? How are you confessing today? Is your confession true? Your confession true? Confess, I will never die by an accident. Whoever has projected me by, to die by, my, by accident, the, this accident I'm dreaming, it shall never happen and I stop that evil dream. It is defiling the house of God if the devil can bring me a dream. I refuse it and I destroy it in the name of Jesus. And whoever the devil has sent, they are going to perish together 
In Jesus' mighty name, I stand on the words that David is told. The God of Israel is my God. And now who is praised standing on Judah is the one who the Lord loved. Who, did the, who, who is the one that the, the, the Lord loved? David. Because the name David means beloved. Now who is David Judah? He's David. Because David is praised. When you read down here, when the children of Israel came back, when Saul, 55, when Saul, okay, because of time, let me not read there. Read there, according into your time. When you read down there, this is when they started praising David. Reading. The Bible says, they started singing. Goliath killed how many in 18? He killed the hundreds. But who killed the thousands and thousands and thousands? Is David. Look, chapter 18. Let me just go there, just a short read because of time. Just a short read. First Samuel chapter 18. First Samuel chapter 18. Verse 7. So the women sang as they danced and said, So slain is thousands, and David is ten thousands. Now, whoever army came and killed, <laughs> they were saying, is David who killed? Why were they seeing David now in those army? Because they were saying, you failed. And who came and gave you power now to kill all these that you took, you pursued up to that, up to the valley and beyond that? Is David. So now the song was about David. And they were standing now at Judah and praising who David. That's what I was saying. Servants of God can be praised for the good work that they have done. And it is biblical. This is not, they were not singing the song about God. They were singing about David. And David now, who was having the God of Israel, who made him to win the battle. Praise the Lord. So I speak in the name of Jesus Christ. That you shall win the battle. I want us to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. We pray, Messiah, God, and we speak your holy name. Let us not fail, Messiah. Every spirit of fear that the devil and this evil giant has presented himself from. We, we can sit in the name of Jesus. The presentation of the giant in front of us. It means we are winning the battle in the name of Jesus. And the devil that we see today shall never be seen again. The sickness, the financial problem, the challenges of marriage, the challenges of relationship that we see today shall never be seen again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Win the battle, child of God. Win your battle in the name of Jesus. Win your battle. Never retreat and never fail. The Lord is with you and the Lord is on your side. We pray, Jehovah God, equip us with the truth and never, let not this the truth, never depart from us. Never the truth to depart from us. We shall always walk in the truth and grow in the truth. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Thank you, Lord, for making our battle to be a winning way and the door opening for others to feel and to see you, Lord. They shall not see us even when they praise our names. It is you in truth who's praised because the battle was not won by man. The battle can never be won by man because it's a spiritual battle that the Lord gives man to win. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. I pray that you win the battle. Winning ways always come from the Lord. You may win this way, you may win that way, but the all winning ways come from the Lord God, our maker of the heavens and the earth. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ we pray. Hallelujah. I pray for you. Let the Lord bless you. The Lord be with your family. The Lord be with everything that you do. I pray for the arising of your business once again, the restoration of your word, the restoration of your life of prayer and the studying of the word, the commitment, the commitment, the reforming of your life, reuniting yourself back in the spirit of the living God in the name of Jesus. I tell you once again, don't fight naked. The battle is so strong and so difficult to win, but it is so easy, very easy to encounter. We look at David using the rubbers, Whatever he used and the stone, he won the greatest battle that gave champion to him and to all the Israelites. I believe you're going to do the same. Remain in the word. Remain in the word. I've told you. David remained under the care and the coaching of Saul, despite that he was having something to do with his own father. Remain where the Lord has put you. You shall be great.
The door is open for you today. I open it the way Saul opened the door for David. Go and fight the battle. Win the battle. Not under your name. In the name of Jesus Christ. Do not be intimidated. Do not be afraid. Do not be intimidated. Close your ear from those negative people who speak negative and confess negative of how they lost. You're not going to lose. You're not going to fail. I'm talking to you. Maybe they never heard or they never had the chance to hear such kind of words. But you have today. What excuse are you going to give when you fail to win? While the Lord is with you. The Lord is saying, go, fight the battle and do it in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, children of God, for joining me today and joining us as we broadcast today. The Lord bless you so much. I love you so much. Thank you for all the things that you are doing. Please do not forget to send your support to Christ Urban House Center Church Namibia, Rundu. The number is there on the screen. The number is there on the Facebook. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Your water is anointed already in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. May the presence of the Lord continue being with you in your house in Jesus' name. Let us do our confession. I'm protected by the blood of Jesus Christ and by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm not afraid of the devil. Once again, I'm protected by the blood of Jesus Christ and by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm not afraid of the devil. Last one. I'm protected by the blood of Jesus Christ and by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm not afraid of the devil. The Lord bless you. Winning ways are for Jesus. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.